Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. 9 11 created a big gash, a big wound uh, in the American psyche, and created a big wound in American Muslim relations. Uh, and, the, and what has been needed since 9 11 was closure and a healing uh, between America and the world of Islam. And there's no doubt in my mind that the event of his death um, has been a major step and a major milestone uh, in this uh, disc important discourse of healing uh, the relationship between America and the world of Islam. The fact that uh, he is dead uh, has brought a sigh of relief to many in the Muslim community uh, that, per that perhaps the era of, uh, of terrorism uh, may be entering to a, uh, into a, a new chapter, mean, namely its demise. The majority of people who have died when victims of this terrorism have been Muslims, whether it's in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in Indonesia, in, uh, in Saudi Arabia, uh, in Morocco. Uh, these are all countries which, uh, in which uh, Al-Qaeda has committed uh, acts of terrorism. And by and large, the vast majority of those who have died have been Muslims. And, um, and, and, and Islamic law is very explicit on the fact that the Quran states explicitly that no soul shall be responsible for the sins of another. Terrorism has no future. Terrorism is, is not the way to answer the problems of society. That's the bigger takeaway from, I think, what the world has experienced in the last 10 years. The Muslim world has seen very clearly that terrorism, and the world has seen very clearly that terrorism conducted by, by anyone, uh, whether it's an individual, Al-Qaeda, a state, uh, is not the answer to where the world needs to go today.